X-Men 97, episode three, here are my thoughts. First things first, spoiler alert. I'm not gonna be doing a full breakdown of the episode, but I will be mentioning spoilers here and there. So if you care about spoilers and you haven't seen the episode, I suggest you go watch the episode first, then you can come back and watch my review. Overall, I am generally enjoying this show. It's been really a pleasant surprise. I love the animation, I love the voice acting, and I really am enjoying the intriguing plot threads. Now, this episode really was centered around Jean Grey and the fact that there's now two Jean Greys, one being the original and the clone who actually gave birth to Scott Summer's baby. You also learn in this that she was cloned by Mr. Sinister. I will say that the 2024 modern audience member in me does kind of wish that they marinated some of these plot points a little bit more. It would have been really cool to see how Scott struggles with the fact that there are two Jean Greys a little bit longer than just one episode. You know, she kind of just goes full evil because Mr. Sinister summons her and she's like, I'm the Goblin Queen. That was another thing that I know is from the comics for someone like me who maybe isn't as familiar with that I was a little bit like what why is she the goblin queen like does she does she, does she had a secret obsession with goblins this whole time it is a little bit weird to me that the clone of Jean Grey just straight up leaves at the end because it was just kind of like your baby has a virus she got sent to the future there's a lot of things in flux I mean wouldn't you want to kind of stick around to see what happens with that you know some things because they're trying to just get it into this quick episode do come across a little bit random. Regardless, at the end of the day, this is a cartoon. I do think they're doing a lot right. I also wanna remind you guys, it's been like 20 years since I've watched X-Men, the original cartoon. So my memory is a little fuzzy to say the least. They have done some pretty incredible things with the animation. The scene where Jean is bending everyone's reality was really cool and interesting. And I do like how they're utilizing all the different X-Men, you know, bishops from the future. And now he has to take this baby to the future and try to cure him and there's just a lot of plot threads in this a lot of interesting things like the fact that rogue and magneto have a thing going on i'm constantly waiting for that shoe to fall with gambit i'm having a lot of fun with this it's been a pleasant surprise i really can't wait for episode four and generally i'm happy it really feels like they've put a lot of care and tlc into this cartoon and it does feel to my recollection very faithful to what the x-men was growing up and i'm kind of glad that a modern audience can enjoy that maybe some people that missed out on the original they're a little bit younger and just weren't around during that time can now enjoy this cartoon that is at this point super iconic anyways let me know in the comments below did you enjoy episode 3 of x-men 97 leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it and also subscribe if you enjoy the content on my channel and as always my name is eric rosas and i hope you all have a fantastic day